What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be checking out a little title called Gross. This game has really impressed me so far. I've actually really only played through the tutorial, which was about 15-20 minutes long. But the gunplay in this game is utterly, fantastically executed. So if you've never seen it before, what exactly is Gross? Gross is a game where you are an angry farmer that is defending your property from endless hordes of zombies. So it's got tower defense aspects to it. It's got first person shooter aspects to it. It's got a bunch of humor laced on in there. Like the guns, they start out kind of realistic. Okay, they don't even start out realistic. But anyways, the gunplay itself is very, very realistic. But the attachments and stuff you get for your guns end up being utterly ridiculous uh, to the point of being funny. And so anyways... Welcome on in. We're going to check out Gross today. We're going to play for about 25-30 minutes, see if it's something you wanted to add to your wish list or otherwise pass on. If after watching this video you wanted to get the game for yourself, the good news is it's available right now. The demo is, that is, uh, through the Steam Next Fest. So you can check that out. You can play the exact same content that I'm playing right now for yourself, and then you can let me know how you felt about it. Uh, at the moment, what are we doing right now? Well, we've got like a couple of guns, so it looks like we've got a vector. It looks like we've got like a little pistol. And it looks like I can kind of just zap zombies over here. And as you can see, the action in this game is actually quite good for the firearms. In all honesty, it's very, very rare that I think an indie game locks in the power of the firearms the way that this game does. It's a game with very, very satisfying shooting, to say the least. And so we've got ourselves what looks like a... I don't, I don't even know what that might be, like a SIG or something. Uh, we've got ourselves a vector that we can spray the enemy down with. And then on top of that, we've also got ourselves one of these old AKs right here. And as you can see, all the guns feel very, very nice. One cool thing about this game, I'm going to show you a little detail here that I don't see in many games. We're just going to go ahead and unload our firearm at the Sky God real fast. And then when we go into reload, there you go, he racks the slide. Now let's go ahead and just fire a couple of shots. That's enough. And then we do the reload animation again. He does not rack the slide because there's already a bullet inside the chamber. Attention to little details like that right there convince me that a developer knows what they're doing and that they're paying attention to the stuff that matters. Now that I've done my little, and that's for like every gun in the game right there. Like every gun in the game, I went through and I tested a lot of them to see if I would get it to work. Inside the context of the demo, we do have a whole bunch of different guns we can play around with. There's everything from like SVDs. Uh, to like 1911s. I mean, we got an Uzi over here. We got like a P90. We've got like a rocket launcher. We've got a SCAR. We've got an M4. Like every gun you could possibly desire appears to be represented at the moment. Unless you're into really, really specific stuff like Chiapa Rhinos or something. I kind of feel like let's put the rocket launcher on four. That just kind of feels like a missed opportunity if I don't do that. So we'll put the rocket launcher on four. I think I'd like to have some kind of, like, shotgun. So, like, yeah, we could throw the Benelli or the Mossberg or whatever that is right there. Yeah, that sounds all right. Let's go ahead and load that thing on up. So now we've got a pistol, we've got a shotgun, we've got a machine gun, we've got an assault rifle, and we've got a rocket. I have to try out the rocket launcher. Hold on, we've got a target-rich environment. Did it work? Oh. There we go. You got to kind of like put it at their feet. Gotcha. So that's working right there. The enemies do drop money. It's very, very satisfying to pick up the money in this game. Uh, there are various attachments. You may note that our pistol has kind of a weird looking thing on the front of it. That's because it's got a cash, it's got a cash compensator, uh, which I think if we activate this, our bullets will pick up money but deal no damage. And the game is full of just kind of little ridiculous things like that, like cash bullets and things of that nature. I haven't actually come back here. I don't know if there's anything back here that's worthwhile. Didn't really look around the property too much, but let's go ahead and start off a level because I know you guys are probably raring to go and get on with the zombie carnage. So let's dive on in here and see if we can't crack a couple of skulls. Uh, so it looks like we've got the endless exhibit right here. Normal difficulty, player health. Oh, it looks like it's actually highly customizable uh, how you're able to play the game. That's pretty cool. I like that. I don't know if this is the only level that's going to be available inside the confines of the demo, but like I'm totally okay with it being just like an endless mode. Let's leave it on normal and let's just kind of like see what happens here. All right. So we get to build a base. Not necessarily like a base, but we get to build towers and things to defend ourselves. Uh, I don't know where the zombies are going to be coming from. My guess is that they're going to be coming from this direction over here, possibly. 
I don't know. Uh, we've got about a thousand dollars banked right now. I'm actually not too sure where the zombies are going to be coming from. I don't see like a clearly indicated area with like an arrow or anything else like that. Why is there a, I guess there's like a giant age of sail ship on top of the museum right here. And for whatever reason, the zombies are really stoked and excited about the possibility of engaging in historical age of sail reenactments. Huzzah. Uh, let's go ahead and actually, I'm just going to start a wave. And if it goes badly, I don't care. I just kind of want to know where they're going to be coming from. Zombies? Hello? Zombies? You guys coming? Oh. Uh, that's a tax drone right there. The tax drone, it comes through and it sucks up all the money that the zombies drop. Uh, so that you can't get your hands on it. Oh, they're coming from, like, every direction. Okay, we may need a hard reset here, then. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't know if I'm going to hit these taps from here. Okay, so we'll want to build a barricade kind of close to the truck, then. Makes sense. Tax drone, get him. There we go. We don't want him to steal our monies. We need these monies. These monies are very, very important for our survival. Ow, my butt has been chewed. I've been butt chewed feels bad. I used to have a pristine butt. A butt that had all of the attributes that one might expect from the existence of a butt. Cash drone! Oh my god, there's so many cash drones, dude. There are so many of them. If nothing else, this is giving us a really, really good opportunity to show off the gunplay, which I think is actually pretty magnificent and what attracted me to the game in the first place. From the sound design to the reload animations to everything else, the whole thing just looks utterly great and feels fantastic to play. Normally, I forget the name of this art pack right here, but normally when I see this art pack, I get a little bit nervous. Not for any real validated reason. There's been plenty of great games that have come out uh, with this art pack. But I do get a little bit suspicious. But I was watching some of the gameplay trailers and whatnot, and like, man, the game looked so satisfying to play. And so I just had to jump in and give it a go. We'll go ahead and drop that guy right there. Hey. There we go. All right. I don't know what that countdown means. That wasn't covered in the tutorial. Are there going to be more of them? Okay, we got our construction phase. Gotcha. All right, so what we're going to want to do here then is we're going to want to get like some barricades going because they're hitting us from like a lot of different directions. And then what we'll do right there is we'll just get some barricades to slow them down. And then on this side, what I'd prefer to do is actually we have like a load of traps here. Everything from like explosive barrels to respawn points uh, to actual like guns. We've got an ATM turret that sucks up money that gets dropped nearby. We've got MG turrets right here. Like, there's some, there's some pretty good stuff that we can play around with. Uh, one thing the game is missing is, like, a facing indicator for some of the, for some of the objects that you can place, I guess. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of, like, put you in right there. Put you in right there. I think I need to put down the ATM so that I can deposit money into it, I think, if I remember correctly. And all of these things that we're placing down to help block the zombies, they are upgradable. That's what you're seeing on the right-hand side of the screen right now, is that you can spend money to make the turrets stronger and to make them better and to make them, like, fire faster and fire further and all that kind of fun stuff. And so I do recommend that you participate in that activity because, like, if we're going to be getting zombie brain goo all over the place, let's get zombie brain goo all over the place in the most satisfying way that we possibly can, you know what I mean? I think with a few more barricades, we should be, like, somewhat okay on this side. I don't know if I'm going to have the money to deploy it all. Actually, I should probably leave the gap over here so that they have to go buy the gun turrets. Uh, but that's going to be pretty much all of our funds. Uh, we have bequeathed all of our funds out. And so I think we're going to have to take some more combat if we really want this to go down. Uh, I've got all my guns reloaded for right now. I don't know exactly what guns I want to use, but I've got a couple of machine guns over here, and then I've also got the ATM turret to pick up the money that comes across. We can also deposit the cash we have on it, because I think you lose the cash you have on you if you die in combat and have to respawn. Okay, damage could obviously be a little bit better on this side. I think I am going to have to help out and soften them up a little bit. Seems to be the case. Uh, we got anything coming from the left side over there? Not for a little bit. I think we're clear for right now. 
uh, the cash drone. Sucking up all my mun muns, man. All my ducats. All my kroner. Yeah, y'all better give it back. There we go. Give me the... Oh, dude, they're all... Oh, God, they're everywhere. Okay, all right, fair enough. Yeah, I'm terrified for my safety. Absolutely, this is probably far too many zombies to be able to deal with for right now. Cash drones are sucking up all my funds. Oh, God. What the hell are those? Are those like cop drones? Oh, God. I think they're upset that I shot down the tax drone. You really? Oh, he fired a missile at me. Hated it. That was the worst. Please die, sir. Thank you. I think more than anything else, we just need the cash drones to go down. Dude, you guys get away from my trailer, man. That's a finely tuned machine right there. That is the that is the master of all trailers right there, okay? That's a high quality life space living situation that you're currently gnawing on, all right? Only the fanciest and most privileged in society get to live inside of one of those. And frankly, I think that this entire this entire crusade that you have against me is based purely on jealousy. That's what I feel. There we go. Oh, there's another one over here. Oh, he's got like a little tile saw on his belt. They have done a lot of modifications to the graphical tile set, though. Like, they've done a lot of really good stuff here. Let's run one with the uh, with the old buckshot. We'll give him the old bucky and see how that goes. Hey, tax drone, get out of here. I don't like you. Oh, there's a cop drone over here, too. Am I just, like, aiming low here, or are you just, like, excessively armored? You know what? I have a solution. Yeah, exactly. Take one of those straight to the face. You, too. Every single one of y'all can get it. There we go. Perfect. Uh, am I actually kind of dope as an RPG operator? I think I might be, dude. I didn't expect to land, like, any of those hits. Oh, it's got an arc to it. Okay. There we go. I just need the cop drones to go down, and if we can get those, we'll be all right. Now let me clear out some zombies real quick. Don't worry, Granny. I got one for you, too. Don't panic, Granny. I got you covered. There's a buckshot out here for everybody. Oh, we got $666. We've got devil money. All right. Well, I'd like to finish off the barricade over here. Oh, that's going to, like, force them to go that way? Oh, so I, like, have to... I mean, I was leaving a path, but it has to be too wide? Okay. Fair enough. All right. Soundtrack's actually pretty decent, too. What I was going to do is I was going to wall all the way over to here. And I think I can still get away with it. I think we might just have to rearrange a little bit. I don't think I'm getting a full refund for these. Oh, no, after they've been down for an entire round, you only get a half a refund. Okay, so, like, what I wanted to do is I wanted to leave a two-gap right there. There we go. That's a little bit better. And then the machine gun turret was a little bit disappointing. Oh, nail gun turrets are only 100 bucks though. We go for one of those. Those aren't too expensive. It's also a flamethrower. Might be kind of cool. Oh, we've also got mortars. The mortars are very, very expensive, though. I think we're going to have to save up a little bit of money. There's also, like, little bear traps and stuff that we can mess around with, too. And there's, like, decoys. Oh, apparently they heal while they're stuck on the decoy. Gotcha. Okay, so let's put down some barbed wire right there because they have to cross that. Yeah, let's just barbed wire it up, man. Just all the barbed wire in the world. There we go. Perfect. Lots of barbed wire. And then over on this side, because it was a little bit easier for us to wall off, I'm just going to barbed wire the whole thing, too. There we go. We'll get a little bit of barbed wire right there. And then what I'd like to do is I think if we go right here and we go for, like, a nail gun. I still don't know what forward facing is for this thing. I think that's forward-facing from looking at the nail gun. Yeah, that does look like the actual operating end of a nail gun. I used to be a roofer. So, like, I, I know what the operating end of a nail gun looks like. And then over here, I actually don't know what I want to deploy. I guess I could put down, like, two of these. 
You must leave a path. Okay, so a little bit of sketchy placement right there. There we go. We'll just put down two nail guns right there, and maybe that'll help out. Okay, I think we're good to go. Lock them and load them, baby. Let's get this thing going. Soundtrack's actually pretty rocking, too. Honestly, this is one of those games that very much drips with kind of, like, care. Like, someone cared about this game when they made it, and it, you can feel it all the way through. Dude, my monies are, like, way over here. I want them, though. Uh, sir, can you please stop? Thank you. I just, I don't have time for your shenanigans right now, sir. I'm out here to try to stack some funds and wipe out some zombie buns. And unfortunately, you are getting in the way of my grilling. Uh, what's happening on this side? Are things going okay over here? Uh, they are not. Unfortunately. It looks like the nail guns did accomplish, like, a little bit of damage, but not enough. So I do think we're going to have to reinforce this over here a little bit. However, the barbed wire is doing an absolutely fantastic job slowing the enemy down. Oh, God. I've been I've been struck with something. Oh, yeah, I see you. Go away. Stop that. You get off my trailer. My, my, my finely produced murder machine, please. Honestly, I'm sort of curious about how effective it might be. I mean, we are making a dent in them over here, so that's good. Maybe I'll focus on this side for a minute. I don't know if our gun has, like, an optimal range for zombie splatting, but it seems like it might. This wave is feeling a little bit less chaotic than the last one, so I think our defenses are starting to get into the position... where they're at least giving us a little bit of lead-off work. And it looks like the barbed wire has been worn down. So, yeah, that definitely looks like the risk that you're going to run into if you use barbed wire is that the barbed wire doesn't appear to have, like, a very long shelf life. Gentlemen, can you please stop stealing from me? Thank you. There we go. Let's knock those out of the sky. Get a little bit more cheddar. Man, those things got... Oh, we can only hold $1,000 on us. Thus, necessitating the ATM machine. I keep missing my shot. There we go. Uh, let me drop this off inside the ATM so that we can pick up more money. There we go. You can get wasted. I don't even care. There we go. Let's get to it, zombies. Oh, I overshot him again. I do like how you can actually see the missile carry off into the distance, though. It does lend the battlefield a nice feeling of depth. You know what I mean? Like, the missile just goes on forever in midair. And then eventually, like, self-detonates. Perfect. Wait, where did all my money go? Didn't I just put, like, $1,000 inside the ATM machine? I thought I put $1,000 inside there. I thought I put the $1,000 up to the inside of theirs. Oh, we only get 70% of the value that we put in. Oh, so your personal wallet has a $1,000 limit, but the ATMs, okay. So apparently it's like money laundering for me. That's the feeling that I'm getting. Uh, what I'd like to do here is if I get some barricades in right there, and then I think like a couple more nail guns. Just got to make sure I get my facing correct. Yeah, we've got like a little crossfire thing happening right there. You don't get caught up in the crossfire. I don't know if they have that range right there. I think all the turrets need to have like little range indicators basically. Like basically turn the tiles on the ground red or like yellow in front of them. So they should have a little green arrow coming out of the side of the model. So that you can see the facing easily without having to inspect the actual model itself. And then the ground should show the area effect basically. Uh, we need to reinforce this over here though. This is where we need to do some work. So let's do some work. Uh, I think I can afford to put in... Honestly, I feel like running this all the way back this way. Oh, you can kind of, you can actually block this one off because they can go around that way. Okay. So maybe 
Oh, I was putting down nail gun turrets? My bad. I didn't want to put down nail gun turrets. I wanted to put down barricades. All right, so with the barricades over here, actually, we may have to do a little bit of reorganization. I'd like it to be a little bit wider on the lip right there. And then I only have like a little bit of money left for like another nail gun. But I think that'll be okay. I just got to get my cash flow up, dude. I just got to get some mad cash flow rocking. And then once we have the cash flow... See, and then we'll have like two nail gun turrets right here so that as they turn this corner, they're taking a little bit of damage. Then we'll stick like a mortar back here that bombs them out so they stay inside the kill zone longer. Yes, sir. That sounds like the plan to me. Uh, I would like to sell you. For right now, just get another nail gun in right there. There we go. Because that's ultimately the plan anyways. All right, that's all of our money. We've we've tapped out all of our cash arenas. Let's see if we can get ourselves another throwdown here. I don't know if there's going to be meta progression planned or anything that you like unlock run by run in order to get like stronger and more powerful, like, you know, increasing gun damage and things of that nature. Probably be worth a little bit of an investigation. They're not even coming from that way, so we just need to hold the gate from over here for a minute. All right. Send some shots down range. Drone, don't you do it. Okay, yeah, the barbed wire was actually fairly effective at keeping these guys pinned down. Dude, I can't get the tax drone. Oh, God. Get out of here. You will give my money back. It's my money, and I want it now. I'm about to go all kinds of RPG Wentworth on that ass. I have a structured settlement, and I need cash now. I'm JG Wentworth. 877 cash now. That knockdown effect is really nice, actually. There we go. Just kind of, yeah, give him give give give, give a little bit of the old, you know, just mess him up a little bit. There you go. Oh, dude, you're back. Okay, wait till I, if, dude, once I, oh, no, 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 no. Please stop shooting missiles at me. I don't like it when you fire missiles at me. Dude, these tax drones are actually kind of expensive. Wait, why are the cops still on me? I haven't killed a tax drone in forever. Like, I, I understand that I murdered a tax drone like a little bit ago, but like, it's been a while, you know what I mean? Like, I haven't been that aggressive in my murder of your tax drones. There we go. Hey, stop it. Get out of here. I do really, really like the idea of the tax drones, though. Like, they, they've got, like, this extra mechanic to the game that makes it a little bit more intense. All right, so this time around, what we've learned is that the barbed wire does a great job at just really, really slowing the enemy down side by side. And so I think replacing the barbed wire on each run really, really early is going to be a wise idea. Uh, so we'll go ahead and barbed wire this up. And then with whatever money we have left... What can I do to upgrade over here? Uh, so we can upgrade this, and I would recommend that we do so. Take that up to like six damage. Basically double up its damage. There we go, double up the damage on that guy. We've got 300 left right here. I think it's actually not a bad idea to go ahead and put down another machine gun. Actually, what is that right there, a flamethrower? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Flamethrower. <laughs> That's the noise I make right there when I'm approached with the opportunity to have a flamethrower. I just start grunting gutturally like a caveman. <laughs> yeah. I just get real, real excited about it. I can't help myself. Tax drone. Aw, oh, dude, that lamppost stole my glory. I can't believe the lamppost has done this. 
I am deeply upset with myself. Uh, let's go and deposit some money over here. Man, you're an ugly one. Not all zombies are made beautiful, but some zombies definitely prettier than others. Uh, I just want my money. That's pretty much it. I just don't want the tax drone to get it. I'm going to ignore the tax drones on this one and just kind of see how that goes. Bad time to reload. Probably shouldn't have done it then. All right, how we doing on the other side? Are they getting through? Oh, the flamethrower, dude. Yes. Flamethrower, you are doing the Lord's work with your holy Prometheum right now, and I am so proud of you. A little bit of penetration on the shotgun, too, which is nice to see. It, what the hell kind of... Is that like a leprechaun? Okay, nobody said there was going to be leprechauns involved, dude. I don't like this. All right, go ahead and throw that out there. Uh, it sounds like we may have zombies on the point. I don't even know how you got over there. But they have broken through the flamethrower side, so we'll probably want to deal with that before too long. All right, lock them down. Get a little bit of money. Another leprechaun over here. Last buckshot. Going to need a reload. They're chewing on my trailer again, man. Oh, he's actually... Do you see him? He broke out the little tile saw. I was actually using it to saw into my trailer. The animation was a little bit janky, but it was like a cool idea. Like, I actually like that they picked up the environmental stuff that they had on their person and just like went for it. We got another wave coming in. What's happening here? Oh, yeah, I see him over here. Okay. We do have special abilities and stuff, by the way. I don't know exactly what they all do. I think we can... I think, what does B do? I don't know what B did. I don't know. Like, from the tutorial, I know that the one on the far left allows your bullets to collect money off the ground. And then the one, one of them, like, does like a, one of them does like a sticky bomb. And then, I don't know, dude. There, there, there's a lot of them. Okay, we're going to want, I think, a flamethrower over here. I think that'd be a real strong start. I think that would be a good play because this side seems to be a little bit weaker. And then I think we're going to need, like, some more barbed wire because I don't think that's going to hold for much longer. Uh, can I? Oh, I can actually get a little bit of money back for the torn up barbed wire. I mean, it's better than nothing. I'll take it. I mean, that's the good stuff. All right. I'm actually kind of, like, in love with this game. This is actually pretty good. Like, as far as, like, you guys will know that I'm not, like, a huge tower defense guy. But I like what they've got going on here. I really sincerely do. Uh, what kind of upgrade can I do on the flamethrower? It's a hundred bucks per upgrade. But like, if it solves my problems on like an entire side, I want to see if that works. All right, let's get going. I'll try to get that upgraded. Like, I, I, I feel like I just don't have enough money to focus on both sides for right now. Okay, they're not coming for a while over here. So we're going to want to be back over this way. This gun has smart bullets. That's what that little attachment in it is. You can, like, fire basically, like, heat-seeking bullets, kind of shadow run style. Yep, we'll just chew them up and knock them down over here. There we go. I'd like to collect my money before the tax drone gets it. Oh, I might actually die. Yeah, I was going to say death was beginning to feel like a strong possibility here. Oh, they're already through that side? Or did those ones sneak past me? They must have snucked it past me, man. They snuck me. Uh, however, the ones that are coming through the flamethrower are looking a lot more chewed on. So I do think that it might be better worth it to focus on upgrades rather than more turrets, basically. Not doing a bad job over here chewing up zombies. Upgraded flamethrower, you the MVP, man. I see you out here. I see you hustling. I see you putting in that work. I see you going hard in the paint, and I'm proud of you. I got mad love for you, flamethrower. Who doesn't love the emperor? Who doesn't love the emperor's righteous Prometheum deployed against the descendants of Nurgle? You know what I mean?
No monies? But what if I want my monies? I need my monies. Well, anyways, this is the rough idea of greed. I think this is a fantastically well put together demo. I think everything in the game is great from the soundtracking to the sound effects that they've used to the responsiveness of the fire uh, to the little details that go into the gun design to like the special abilities and the different towers. I mean, for a demo right now, this game is actually pretty dope. So go check it out. It's available right now on the Steam Festival. You can play it right this second if you wanted to kill some time for free. My name is Flattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile every single day in the world of indie games so that you don't have to. This game is called Gross. Tomorrow I'll be back with something else, but for now it's time for me to go. See you later, everybody. I'm gonna keep uh, roasty toastying some zombies over here.